It's Misha. Welcome to my actual YouTube channel. It's not just gaming. Huh? Candle. I'm here with TV's chandelier. And we just made fruit cake. Fruit cake. I'm TV's chandelier. We're ready to eat it, maybe soon. So cool. It's gonna be so fruity. It's gonna be so fruity. And full of nuts, which we all kind of look for. Salty. Let's get ready to eat. Okay. I want to tell you about some history. Oh, I Christmas love history. history. <gasps> Christmas history. Pagan Christmas <gasps> history. Oh. Instead of chestnuts, they used to roast children over an open fire. I love roasting children over, over the open fire with Krampus. <laughs> He's Krampus my spirit animal. And joys when you soak them in rum. Bzz. Bzz. <laughs> that means it was wrong. Ah, oh, fake history. No. <laughs> bzz. Just, bzz, just bzz. So Krampus likes what? Rum soaked children. The rum soaked children. Roasting over an open fire. I believe it. Because mm -hmm. we just had those rum-soaked raisins and nuts and currants. They were delicious. And they were so good. So if it was children and we were a demonic entity named Krampus, it's got to be good. It's got to be delicious. Do you have Spirits any? love spirits. Spirits do love spirits. Spirits are delicious spirits. This is not spirits. This is worm. Spirits. It's sort of spirits. Spirit. It raises What's your spirits. I don't know. Four history lessons to come. <laughs> we'll have to look that up. Yes. What's the difference between spirits, wine, and beer? And I'll add that. The alcohol that. content. Yeah, the, probably, probably the alcohol content. Probably. Do you have any history that you want to share? Oh, well, I know all about um, the Christmas witch. Oh, there's a witch? There's a witch in Italian tradition. There's a Christmas witch. Her name is La Befana. And so on the three magi, right? You know. Three magi. The wise men. That brought Jesus presents when he was born. Exactly. Illegally. Right. They were illegal immigrants <laughs> looking for baby Jesus. And apparently they stopped by Italy in the Christmas witch's cottage. And they were like, hey. We're looking for the baby Jesus. He's the Christ child. He's going to save us all. Can you help us like look for him? And she said, I'm too busy. I've got the cake to make. I've got to sweep all these goddamn floors. Look at my place. It's a fucking mess. And is that okay to say? Yes. Okay. You can say fucking. <laughs> and uh, so she let them go. Um, later on, she was like, oh, shit. That was like the savior, the savior of us all. So she felt real bad about it. Um, and now she wanders around the world delivering presents to all the children in case it could be baby Jesus. But she's also cursed for eternity to do that forever. She took Santa's job? Uh, she's, Illegally. She's like, she's, stealing jobs she's from like Santa, good people. But she's the Christmas witch. Christmas witch. And, and that she helps out and she gives different gifts, maybe. Yes. Okay. She's a helper. Jack yeah. Frost is an asshole. Why? He's just an asshole. He nips at your nose. He does nip. He but nips at Who doesn't so like a little sometimes? nip every now and then? He bit my nose off last year. This is fake. Oh. I had to grow it back. You did really good work. Who did that for you? Myself. I molded wow. it out of my own clay. Clay nose, y'all. Clay nose. Jack Frost just took a Are you a golem? Yes. You're like a golem. Yes. Oh my God. I build myself. Build myself up. What else is clay? All of it. All clay. I'm a clay All clay. All right. So what else happened with Jack Frost? He's a dick. He's a big dick. He stole my food. Mostly my cheese. I do. The cheese. He stole the cheese. Then he cut the cheese. Why did he steal your cheese? And then he shat on the TV. On the TV. Smeared. <gasps> and I was like, Jack. What? 
I'm done with you. That just doesn't sound like the Jack Frost that I know. This is Jack. Sounds like Jack Nicholson. This is Jack. Jack. <laughs> oh, you know how Jack got his origins? Why is Jack Frost? He went from Nicholson. No. Oh. Okay. So, <laughs> the Titanic, right? The Titanic. And Rose was there, and her lover Jack was there. The Titanic crashed into that fucking iceberg. And she let him go into that frozen water. He became Jack Frost. He became Jack Frost oh because of that. Oh my gosh, Jack Frost. That's why he's an story. asshole. He's an asshole because she just let him dangle there. Mm -hmm. I see what it is mm -hmm. now. Okay, if I knew the story, I wouldn't have been so mean to him. You were mean to him because he was an asshole to me. Well, maybe you were mean to him first, and that's why he took your cheese and shattered all over your TV. He bit my nose off. Well, I don't know what you did before that. What'd you I was do? standing you outside it? giggling in the snow. You, oh, see, you were giggling in the snow. I can't giggle in the snow. That's his handiwork. That's Jack Frost's handiwork. You can't laugh at it. I enjoy the snow. Well, he took offense to that, so he bit your nose off. Wow. Well, now I go. know why Rose let him rot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what about baby Jesus? How did, the, how did this happen? Well, Mary had sex. She but did. she did not tell Joseph. Yes, yeah, she did. Until sure. she was pregnant. And then she was like, uh-oh, I fucked up. I cheated on you. And Joseph said, you fucked something. But it something. was with God. And I swear, he never touched my body. He touched her body. How else did that happen? He touched it all over. He had to touch everything. And then he poked a finger inside and he was like, splurm, right there. But imagine... You're 14 years old. Sperm. You, you're a little Jewish girl in Bethlehem or wherever they were. That's where Jesus was born. <laughs> you told me that before. Now where is it? Well, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, but they were traveling yeah. there. Oh, I don't know where they lived. And then they had a manger. I know there was a manger. There was lobsters there, too. And octopus. Why that was there seafood? There was a bunch of octopus. In Bethlehem? Yes. All right. Um... Nazareth. That's where they're from. I don't know where that's at compared to Bethlehem. I don't know how far that Probably is. Probably about 40 miles. Probably 40 miles. Is it near <laughs> Egypt? Maybe. Is it near Istanbul? I don't know. I don't know either. Are we going to look at a map? No, Maybe. we're not. <laughs> but anyway, they were traveling from Nazareth. Oh, but imagine being 14 years old. And pregnant. This angel comes down. <laughs> And it's not like this winged man. It's like something with like 14 eyes and wheels within wheels and 30 wings, lion heads and rams. And it's just like, calm down. And you're just like, calm down. What do you mean? It's like, you're going to have the savior. You're going to have God's baby. I touched you And all it's over. just like. We got a map of the U.S. This is a map of the U.S. Um. <laughs> In relation to the U.S., <laughs> Nazareth is over here. <laughs> um, or if you go around the globe, it could go the other way, just all the way around. The Earth is flat. That's why maps are flat. But yeah, imagine that. That the Earth is flat? No. Oh, being the, the angel and thing being poked by comes Jesus. down and tells you poked you're going to be raised by God. Jesus. You're about to be raped by God. Oh, God! Calm down. It's and it has the audacity to tell you to calm down. Oh, he's just going to let you know it's going to be a good raping. Um, interesting. Mmm, cakes. Here's our cakes that Chandelier and I made. Hi, I'm Chandelier. 40-ish minutes. Pokeable. Sniffable. Okay. Let's see if they're edible. I think it's going to be much better than store-bought. Let's drop them on the floor. No. Oh. <laughs> Let's cut in and see what they look like on the inside. Yes. Oh, okay. Cut into that piece. Oh. Are you back? No. Ooh. The fruit is in there nicely.
Are you ready to dig in? I'm beyond ready. Oh, you're digging. Oh my god, Shayna's digging. Can I got you the dig corner. It? Can you dig it? I'm ready. I'm ready. Go ahead. Let's both take a bite. Mmm. That's really yummy. I think yummy. we did a really good job. I think we did too. It's much better than a real fruit cake. Because it's the, not a real fruit cake. It's not as dense as a real fruit cake. So they're really it's just, dense. Yeah. And I don't know another word for dense. Um, kind of chewy. Like really solid and put together. Gummy maybe? A little bit of gummy because the fruits that are in a real fruit cake are really chewy because it they have those candy cherries. We Would you describe this more as a rum cake? It is more like a rum cake with dried fruits in it. It's got a spongy texture. Um, the fruit plumped up really nice and juicy after soaking it in that rum mm -hmm. for two days or seven years. Seven years, in my opinion. Um, uh, so it's really good. They got mm. a nice crunch to the fruit, actually. It's not like a soft fruit either. It's a plump, like you said. Mm -hmm. With the nuts, too. But the fruit is plump and delicious. Oh, my God. And this is our dinner, guys. <laughs> We're only eating this. Mm-hmm. Corner piece. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I just want to say cheers. Mm. Thank cheers. you for doing the video with me, Shane the Lear. Oh, cool. Christmas. Christmas.